All right, so we're gonna try another video. I haven't even uploaded the first one from last night. And uh, one of the things I like about this video idea is that I can, you know, while I'm driving around, while I'm working, I can do these little things that I don't have to write for. <coughs> it's kind of an interesting concept. So today, going to discuss the results of the Iowa caucus. Um, for quite a while now, a lot of people on my page have asked me who I am supporting. And my standard line has been, you know, I'm watching the field, I'm still making my mind up, which to a certain extent is true. I am. I'm watching the field with, with great interest. Because for the first time in a very long time, the Republican field has a lot of talent, a lot of success, uh, some very intelligent people, and the dynamic is is actually quite fascinating to me. Um, you know, up until last night, Trump was the undeclared frontrunner, and you know I've watched Trump with a lot of interest. Um, obviously, very successful guy guy with a lot of confidence, guy that's very bright, um, he's not polished, he's financing his own campaign, which I think is fantastic, because it takes a lot of the influence that normally goes with American politics out of the equation. Uh, the things I don't like about Trump, he is a little bit too controversial for me, and really, put that into perspective for a second, um, I'm an extremely controversial person, and when I'm saying there's a little too much a little too much. So, the one thing that I really do like about Trump to date is the fact that he has completely changed the course of the conversation in this country. Um, completely. We have been heading in a leftward direction for many, many years. And Trump has effectively stopped that, and the conversation has gone a lot more right. I actually have a lot of gratitude for that. Um, I think he would make a good leader. I don't necessarily like some of his stances politically. Um, I am a constitutional conservative. I believe in what the Founding Fathers envisioned, a limited federal government constrained by the Constitution. Um, and I'm not sure that Trump is on board with that ideology. If he were to be nominated, would I vote for him? Absolutely. Given the two choices on the other side, hey, without a doubt. Um, on a side note, I really wish Jim Webb had stayed in the Democratic race. I thought he would have been a phenomenal candidate for the Democrats, but apparently he did not lean anywhere near left enough for the Democrats, which is really sad. You, know, you have a man that's a veteran, he's successful, he's very intelligent, he's moderate, and the Democrats blew him out of the water as quickly as they could. Now, the other candidates I've watched, um, I've watched Rubio. Matter of fact, my wife has actually met and spent a reasonable amount of time with Rubio. She knows uh, one of his attorneys pretty well. Actually, the wife of one of his attorneys pretty well. So she has been to his office. She's met him. She's talked to him. Said, very nice guy, very bright, very decent. Uh, she liked him. The one thing that I really did not like that Rubio did was support amnesty. Um, both of my parents are right off the boat. I am the first in my family to be born here. And my parents did it the right way. They came to Paris Island, they went through the entire process, they became American citizens. And they added to this country, they did not take from it. So, for Rubio to support amnesty to me was 
slap in the face to that. I am not a huge Rubio fan because of that. Now, that being said, if he were nominated, would I vote for him? Give the other two? Absolutely. Um, Rubio would be a lot better than what we've had for the last 16, well, actually, 15 years. Um, and to answer that question, not a big George Bush fan. I thought he grabbed way too much power for the executive branch, and Obama's been even worse. I like Carson, very bright guy, a little too soft-spoken for my taste. Um, the one thing I really like about Carson is I believe he could begin to heal the racial divide that has been shoved down America's throat for the last seven years. We have gone backwards 50 years in terms of race relations in the last seven. Um, and that's coming from a, a guy with black family members uh, and, you know, three minority children. I have watched great race relations here in America go downhill, and it has been very, very depressing for me. Um, you know, Dr. King had a dream that color wouldn't matter anymore, and yet it matters even more now than it did 10 years ago. I like Carly very bright, thinks well on her feet, extremely articulate. I think she'd do a phenomenal job. Again, would I vote for her if she were nominated? Absolutely. Um, but all along, for the last couple of years, the guy that I've really been watching is Ted Cruz. He is an actual conservative. He has done exactly what he said he was going to do. He is not compromised. Um, even to the point where he has been derided by the press. And one of the things that I absolutely love about Ted Cruz is the fact that he has pissed off both the Democrats and the Republicans in the Senate. Um, reportedly, when he was first elected, he was approached by John McCain, who said, you know, kid, we have a way of doing things here. Tell the company line, you get appointed to committees, you get more power, you climb the ladder. You really need to do things the way we do them. And he literally responded with, yeah, my constituents didn't elect me to do that, so no thanks. Which is why McCain absolutely despises him. He does not play a typical game. And let's be honest, both parties have sold out both parties have become all about staying in power and accumulating wealth as a result of their political position. Um, so when someone bucks those parties and pisses everybody off, I'd say he's doing something right. Um, I'm pretty happy that Cruz won last night. I'm sure a lot of people are very shocked. I don't know that I'm shocked. Um, pleasantly surprised. I think that's fantastic. We need someone with actual conservative principles, someone that understands the Constitution. Um, Cruz has been billed as one of the most intelligent attorneys in the country. Now, okay, I get it. Everybody hates attorneys. Sadly, I have more attorneys uh, in my phone than I have any other profession because of what I do for a living. And, you know, I, I employ attorneys and I spend a lot of money on attorneys and I know because I've had contact with so many of them that there are some really horrible, horrible attorneys. There are also some damn good ones um, that are ethical, that care, that do well for their clients and those are the attorneys that I surround myself with. Um, so I'm cognizant of the fact that there are really good attorneys out there and granted there may not be that many of them. But him being an attorney isn't necessarily a huge turnoff for me. <coughs> you know, those are, I guess in a nutshell, my thoughts on the field and the Iowa caucuses last night. Pleasantly surprised. Um, now, if you look at the last couple presidential races, uh, the people that won the Iowa caucuses, 
fizzled out. Um, Huckabee fizzled out. Santorum fizzled out. So I don't think this is a great barometer of things to come. I think it's a tiny little sign. Um, but to me, it, it it's a little encouraging. I gotta be honest. Um, you know, I uh, I'm real curious to see what this election cycle brings from a purely cognitive point of view, because you have two vastly different ideologies. The Democrats have gone so far left that JFK would not have a seat at the table today. He wouldn't. They would call him an extremist. Um, and that's really sad. That's pathetic, actually. So we, we've got Hillary Clinton, who's a corporate stooge, who, quite frankly, I believe is nothing more than a criminal. It's a gangster. Uh, and then you have the idiot socialist who uh, was on welfare while he was running um, in Vermont. It's disgusting. The guy's never held a real job. He's never produced anything. He has stoked the fires of... You know, my mind just totally went blank. I'm kind of hungry this morning. Um, he's really stoked the fires of I don't have enough. Of you know, the rich are, are bad people because they've been successful, and that they should give us their money. Um, and that's not really how it should be. So, you know, the Democrats have fielded two absolute dogs, and the Republicans actually have some decent candidates. I'm really hoping for a conservative win, not just a Republican win, because, again, I'm not a Republican, I'm not a Democrat, I'm, I'm an independent, um, but I am a constitutional conservative. I believe in what the Founding Fathers envisioned, and we've gotten so far away from that that it's sad. We've become unrecognizable as a country. So those are my thoughts on the caucuses and a couple of candidates. Hope that answers some questions.